This is character asset. You already know character did it. I'm here with Ariel, bro. Tell us about yourself. What do you do? Yo, what's up, character? Dude, that's such a cool name. I like that. Um, thank you so much for having me on your show. Thank you so much for this opportunity and uh, reaching out. And I'm just grateful to be here to share who I am. My name is Ariel. I am a podcaster, musician, photographer, salsa owner in Denver, Colorado. And that's what I do. I play music worldwide. Got a podcast worldwide called Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Website, arielent.com. Available on all podcast platforms, social media platforms, audio platforms. The list goes on and on. And I'm just, like I said, website, arielent.com. I got shows coming up. We can talk about the music shows, everything right now. So, yo, character, thank you again for letting me be here with you. So I want to start at the beginning. So how old are you right now? Oh man, right now we are right now we are 35 years young. Mm, me too, man. Literally exactly 35. That's crazy. It's a oh, great yeah. age. Yeah, it's a great age right now, dude. It is for real. You know, everybody everybody fears their 30s, but they don't understand. I believe it's the best time in your life because you're you're still young enough to do everything you did in your 20s, but you're not as dumb as you were when you were in your 20s. That's that's it right there. You're not as dumb as you were in your early twenties. That is correct. Facts, bro. That. Where are you from? Well, I'm here in Denver, Colorado. I'm originally from northeastern Colorado in a small town, population two thousand, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> broke away from that. Graduating class of forty, and broke away from all that, and came to the city to go to school for broadcasting, mm. and got into broadcasting school got my certificate in that and then I figured hey you know what I'll just do my own photographer so I went for photography and videography first and then after that I went straight into music man and then from music I went to podcasting and then from podcasting I went to the new adventure which is the salsa business <laughs> that is that is quite an adventure you've had bro yeah I know I like, all right all right uh, there's a lot of steps you just named Let's go to like one of the last ones. How old were you when you got into the music part? Okay, so I got in the music game three years ago. So I'd say 32 years old, 31, 32 years old, got in the music game. And I'm just so happy I never quit. Hell yeah, man. So everything else you were doing at that time, what led you to start making music? Oof. So four or five years old, my bro- I was inspired by my brother who played the drums. From the drums, I went from concert band, fifth, sixth grade, seventh, eighth, eighth grade, middle school, high school, all through orchestra music, concert music, pet band music, uh, jazz band music, uh, anything I could do with music, bro. But I was in percussion, and but I took guitar lessons when I was in eighth grade, and I stuck with it ever since, and got my guitar in like freshman year, summer or sophomore year, summer. Got my first guitar. It was a Black Squire. And then I was like, man, I want to start a band next. But I was always inspired by when I was in third grade or fourth grade, I saw this high school band performing uh, in the small town I lived in. And I was just thought, that's what I wanted to do. These these guys are just rocking out and just having a good time. And when I was a kid, I was like, that's what I want to do. And yeah, dude, ever since then, I uh, I uh, got the guitar in high school and I started a band the band was pretty good too we were band probably three years and we all went our separate ways because we went to college and all that stuff but and then I gave music a break man probably from my all my 20s dude I gave it a break can you believe that my guitar was just kicking it in the corner collecting dust but I always wanted to play music I just didn't know what to do or how to start or where to go play or I didn't know none of that, dude. All I knew was play the guitar and I know how to book a recording studio to go record. That's all I knew. But I didn't know how to book shows or what shows, like open mics or any of that stuff yet, man. And so uh, I started that three years ago and uh, and that's how I got in the music game, bro. The guitar was always there looking at me in the corner. And oh yeah, I got inspiration from my girlfriend, dude. My girlfriend was like, you play guitar? And we were like six months in the relationship. And I was like, oh yeah, I play guitar. And she's like, well, I never see you pick it up and play it. I was like, oh, well, let me play something. And then so I played it and she's like, why don't you like 
do you go perform and do you don't perform anything and i was just like you know what i need to do that i want to start getting back into that and she was like my big inspiration kind of and uh, i always wanted to do it but she was that push or kind of that hey why aren't you doing it then and um i uh set a three month goal i said uh, three months from today i'm gonna go perform for the first time ever wherever that is and that was three years ago and now three years later man i'm getting shows in california i'm getting opening shows for other artists here big artists here in denver man and dude it wasn't like that dude for the first i'd say the first three years this just started blowing i just started blowing up with my music this year i'd say in april may this year i started blowing up uh, with the music scene here and just getting bookings left and right but um but that like i said i just so i'm just so happy um that this is all coming together now because this is what i've always wanted to be doing with the music that's my first love podcast is my second the photography and the salsa game that's those are like you know um th those mean a lot to me as well i put my 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 love into it when i make the salsa and all that stuff but music's my first love and um i just thought you know i just man I, it's a journey man and uh i'm just just uh just so grateful I, I just stuck believed in myself and and wrote down goals took vocal lessons and now i'm here three years in the game and i'm geez dude that's that's how it all started though that's how that that question you asked that's that's the music game question right there hell yeah man and, and that's that's incredible bro you should be proud of yourself yes sir tell me about your 20s tell me about the time in between that oh my goodness the time between that my early 20s i got out of college i got out of school high school got into college tried to go for my associate's degree in business and um dude college was not for me i was just like i'm out dude i could not i could not do it dude i barely got in i barely passed middle school and high school the only reason i passed was because people really cared for me and watched over me and jesus god watched over me and you know put great people in my life where i could copy off of them a copy off of them and tests and homework where I can pass these classes and yeah you know, <laughs> you know so I gave it I gave thanks to all those people that helped me out sometimes I'm like man I wish I could run into them today and just thank them for all their help in high school and middle school because it was so hard for me man it was so hard I couldn't stay focused and and so when I got out of uh, high school uh, I didn't, you know, my parents wanted me to go to college and I was like, yeah, I, I wanted to go to like barber school or something like that. But that was frowned upon back in the day and um, like beauty school. <laughs> well, my family thought it was frowned upon. So back in the day, so they weren't supportive of that. So I was like, all right, well, I'll go to business school. And I just dropped out within like a year and a half in, or a year into it, dude. And uh I was probably in my 20s, 21, and then, no, 20s probably, 21, and then I said, you know, what am I doing? And I was just driving on the road, and then I heard this commercial about broadcasting school. So I hit that, so I, when I was in my car, it was like a sign, so I called it, I told my mom about it, she's like, yeah, I'll go for it, let's see what happens. And then I went for it, man, and, and um, that was my early 20s, I'd say that was from, my early 20s you know i was very distracted i did the certificate but then after that i got into i did the certificate and then i just started partying dude i got I, I got away from my goals i started being a drifter i started partying hanging out with the wrong crowd i started going to places i shouldn't be going i started you know doing this and that um highway trafficking you know just doing just doing things you know okay. the, doing the fast life baby and just having the time of my life going to clubs going to nightclubs and just uh i did that probably in 2024 but then i finally uh hit rock bottom when uh when i had no money to my name anymore and rent was due two weeks later and uh, i i uh i uh, i prayed and i thank god for my life and i was like hey i need some help i don't know what to do i could either move back with my family or I can, or I can find a job and somehow in these next two weeks pay off my rent coming up, and 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 I just need I just didn't have a job, man, because I was just you know doing 
doing things here and there to make money you already know and uh <laughs> <laughs> and so i was just uh so i was just like i prayed and dude the next day i found an office job man and that was just jesus god just showing me the way because you know i came I, I came i came i went back home that day that evening when i prayed and um had no money in my name didn't know what to do i went back home to jesus god man and he took me back into his arms i always believed in jesus god i always loved him always went to church but really um like i i was like i said i was drifting away i was only just going to church on sundays i was never praying i was not dedicating my life to him this is just me and uh, I, was, I, was, I wasn't dedicating my life to him and uh, reading the word and none of that stuff, dude. I was just doing my own thing, man, and getting into trouble. And finally, when I hit rock bottom, I prayed. The next day, dude, he saved my life. A week later, I had enough money because this job that I worked at, dude, they played, they paid every Friday. And so um, that I remember I worked that week and I didn't get paid because that's how it is. You know, you work right. your first the week. You know, yeah, every, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you get your second week. In the second week, man, I had just enough money to pay rent and have extra cash from groceries. And ever since that day, dude, that changed my life. I, uh, I uh, just committed my whole life to Jesus God and my music, my life, my podcast, everything to to Him. And um, and and that was my early twenties, man. I, I found Jesus God again, and um, uh, and then out of twenty five to thirty. I would say I just I, I was in the I was I was in the um I was in the um the work work life, you know, the work life from there then and then just trying to get money so I can get my own stuff, like my own camera, my own equipment mm -hmm. from twenty five to thirty. And then and then from thirty to thirty one, dude, that's where it all started, dude. That's just just that's how it went, man. That was that was my twenties right there. That was my twenties. Bro, that's incredible for me to hear right now because I have a very close friend who's 27 years old and he has been adrift for a long time. And yeah. he's just now gotten into a situation where he's going to start nursing school in January. And we've been talking all day today about yeah. you need to just focus on that get your money or get your life right get it all together and then you can invest in everything you want to you can live the life you have control if you take control of your life you control everything around your life and that's what you did and and it's incredibly inspiring for me to hear that because i already know that's what he needs to do but you're someone who did it and and i'm, I'm gonna send him this moment in the interview for sure <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, no, and uh, that's what I'm all about, man. That's what the podcast is all about. That's what the music is all about. That's what my salsa, just in me networking, connecting, man. You know, I'm all about us uplifting each other. You know, someone's having a hard day. We do our best to bring them back up. You know, uh, when people come on my podcast, it's all about encouragement. The other get when the guests come on, they're encouraging uh, other people with their journey and what they're doing and you know and i just want to encourage the guests that are on my show you know so it's like a full circle and you know we got the positive mental attitude and you know mastermind you know the mastermind principle mindset man when two people have the same goal and work hard at it we get it quicker so i love that bro you know so yeah shout out to your friend he he's he's he's, he's got it dude you know we just got you know want baby steps and uh, you know, just got, for me, it was just believing in myself, writing those goals down, and yeah, I have I have these things I read over every day before I go to bed, when I wake up, and yeah, dude, it's just I call them my daily prayers, but they're what really they? what I want. What's that? What are they? What are these things you read every day? Oh yeah, they're they're like they're my daily prayers. So they're just me thanking God for the things I have and that I don't have. And um, it's just thanking him all day, bro. So, you know, just thanking him for this podcast, thanking him for my car. When I first wake up in the morning, I thank him for the day. Thank you, God, for this perfect day, you know? So that's just how I am, man. I just got, and then I got these, but I got a paper full of all these things while, um, that I just remind myself, you know, like self love, prayers to yourself, you know? Uh, it, it brings my confidence, it, 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 uh, it builds my confidence really a lot. And, it makes me love myself a lot, which which is really good because then I can share that love with, with the whole world. So that's what it's all about, man. I'm just here to serve, you know? Mm. That's beautiful, bro. That's beautiful. I, I, 
I feel like you've kind of gone over these in broad strokes, but tell me about the biggest accomplishments that you've achieved on in, in this whole journey that you've been on to get you to where you're at right now. And you're at a very exciting time in your life. Yeah, dude. Um, biggest accomplishment. First and foremost, biggest accomplishment, waking up every morning, praise Jesus God. That's the biggest accomplishment because there's people that wake up. There's people in the hospital, dude, that, uh, you know, that are, are fighting for their life, dude. There's people in the world that are starving that are fighting for their life. There's people in the streets fighting for their life, dude. So, you know, I wake up every morning and I just, you know, I, that's the, that's the first mindset I, th I do. I say, thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, God, for this perfect day. Thank you, God, for my job. You know, thank you, God, for getting me here safely, safe travels. So my that's my biggest accomplishment is um, waking up every morning and thanking God for all the things I have. That's my biggest accomplishment. Number two, um, not quitting, man. My goodness. You know, when I first started the music, dude, I got so much shit. I got so <laughs> much, dude, like so much shit bro from vocals to hey your guitar's out of tune to um who, like, like just you know dude and um you know from people you know who you would think they would be there and they're not or you know people that you grew up with that are that when they see you they're like hey what's up yeah 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 but when i do all my concerts or social media posts or anything like that they show no love so you know like the biggest accomplishment is just you know believing in yourself conquering what you want to do and and surrounding yourself with people that a believe in you but also are doing the same things as you and as well doing better than you because man when i find people that are doing better than me i'm just like wow so that's how you do it or i'll say or I'll see someone with a dope ass whip. I'll be like, bro, that's a sick ass whip. How, like, what do you do? Yeah. yeah, or how did you get that? Or, or is that, do you put a down payment? Like, I'll ask questions. I don't give a shit, dude. I'll be like, do you put like $2,000 down payment on this? Or, or how much are the monthly payments on right. this? Cause and they'll tell you. These people with dope ass whips, dude, will tell you these things. Cause people don't ask them these things, dude. Like they don't, they'll be like, I'll be like, I'm, I'm interested, man. I want to, I want to try one of these. And they'll be like, do you want to try, do you want to drive it? Like sometimes people offer me their car. They'll be like, you want to drive the car? I'll be like, and I'll be like, no, dude, I was just asking questions. I but would, I would drive the shit out of those cars, bro. What? Exactly. So the, like, and I'll be giving my car to be like, you know what? Maybe in a music video, I could see this being in my music, like something like that. I'd say, yeah. but, but okay. yeah, dude. You know, that that's the thing you know surround yourself with people that are doing better than you people that vibe with you and people that support you uh, for me it's my family my mom and dad and my brothers dude they're always there for me my girlfriend supports me um and then you know you know i really i i got a lot of connections but i really keep my you know my circles like i really i, I have a small circle man i i just uh i just so focused with like literally dude i went to work after work, I went to go perform music. After I performed music, I went to the salon to get my hair done. And after that, I came here to the studio, bro. I still haven't had no dinner. Huh. So like, dude, I'm just, and it's so much fun. I, I don't even feel no hunger right now, dude. I'm not even hungry at all right now. I didn't even ate since this afternoon when I went one o'clock on my lunch break, bro. So it's just, man, it's just, it's, I love Fed this. life. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm just so grateful to be on this podcast with you and just sharing that. Yeah, those are the biggest accomplishments of my life. I feel. Yeah, I got, I get, I got bookings now. Um, I'm about to play a huge show in California on Thursday. Um, I got my podcast has 350 episodes. We get almost 300 listeners a week on the audios, dude. It's just going up and up. The Instagram social media posts are going. It's just. So yeah, man, it's just, I, I'm so grateful for all the biggest accomplishments, but um, you know, without Jesus God, I wouldn't have any of that. So that's my biggest accomplishment is him being in my life, me finding him, finding myself and, uh, and loving on others and serving others. That's my biggest accomplishment character, to be honest, man. It's amazing, bro. And, and, and respect to that. Be proud of yourself. That's incredible. Thanks, dude. Tell yeah, me. it's. Tell me about the biggest obstacles that you've had to overcome on this journey to get to where you're at. Dude, 
All right, so to get where I am, school, I told you in the beginning, school was hard for me. So I'm biggest, I'm really proud of me of that. That was an obstacle, dude. But when I was in, um, this is the difference between a main, like a, I went to a school, like a, uh, like a community college, a big community college, and it was never hands-on, bro. It was always books, 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 books that I'm not, I don't even care. Dude, when I went to broadcasting school, and I went, uh, this is what changed my life, dude. I thought that it was going to be like books, tests, books, tests about broadcasting. No, dude, it was all hands-on, man. They had a studio for music. They had a studio for broadcast, like for TV. They had a studio for radio. And every day, dude, I was so excited to go. I was there early because I was like, oh, today we're going to work on a news package. Or today <laughs> we're going to work on background sounds and how to yeah. put on a rape. That's oh, dude, I was so excited, man. And I passed broadcasting school with do with flying colors dude i i passed it with a dude because i that's what i loved man and so um that like i said that that was an obstacle too like you just gotta find the things you love because when i was taking business school dude and community college you know what classes they told me to say they told me to take astrology and the astrology book was so big i would never forget this and i dropped out of astrology because i was like why am I going to read this wait, whole wait, book? Wait, 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 wait. You went to business school and they said take astrology. Yeah, I had to take a science and the science was astrology. Nah, I know. Dude, bro, I, I went to film school for the same reason. That's bullshit. <laughs> I know, that's bullshit. That's my point, dude. So I was like, why am I taking the astrology cast? It's so hard. I don't care. I'm, like, I'm what? out. I'm no. out. Yeah, dude. So yeah, and so um, that was a big obstacle. That's one. Another one was vocal lessons. You know, uh, my first couple of years, I was like, man, you know, I was just not comf. I wasn't co that confident on stage. I wasn't confident on with my voice. And then I took some vocal lessons, and it changed my whole life. Now I'm like cocky on stage, but you know, in a great way. And um, I'm just more confident, and uh, you know what I mean. So I'm more happy with my vocals. And you know, it doesn't happen overnight, man. I thought singing, you know, I thought you were just born singing like Beyonce and all those amazing singers, you know? And um, mm -hmm. then when I uh, took vocal lessons, the coach was telling me, no, like you practice. That's how you become better at singing. You gotta practice. And I always thought like you either have it or you don't. And if you don't, you can always practice to be a really good singer and i never knew that dude and um i just thought hey you're a singer good now try to hit these notes and if you can't you're you're a singer <laughs> that's what i thought but what the coach told me is like hey do these different do these weird sounds with your vocals a lot of yada 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 and dude mm -hmm. and it man it worked so that's those that, those are probably like the biggest obstacles man is my vocals and 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 the you know school but other than that dude it's just been you know just so much fun i feel you man and and i i i can literally relate to everything you just said i'm not going to get into why i'll get into it on your podcast when i hop on your podcast hell yeah that's what that. but yeah <laughs> yo we got that scheduled in august too or september oh, yeah bro. i just went through my calendar for the next couple months and i saw it i got a book bro i got you man for real yes. uh yeah. so <clears throat> and you know i i love i love your aesthetic i love your individuality but i would imagine it makes some people feel uncomfortable what do you what do you mean by that i mean you are so much yourself like look at you bro like those glasses you just took off and, and now you got your hair all blonde you're gonna go blonde or you got those big ass chains you got the cut off you got those bracelets you got i mean you are you're a walking statement and i i love that i love that but that makes a lot of people feel uncomfortable to, it has that tell me tell me about what that dynamic has done for you Yeah, dude, that's a deep question because, well, I'm just trying to do my best. 
and what I learned is that you can't live in fear. Hmm. And But when I'm in that fear or shyness or having negative thoughts, I remember that I'm not, when I have those thoughts, I'm not having the love. Again, I'm, this is me. I don't have the love of Jesus God in me when I'm feeling that way. And so, I'll, I'll run into people where how do I say this I'll run into people dude I'll run into people where I know where I can easily tell by their body posture or by the way, by the way they walk or by the way they're sitting or the way they, they the way they communicate. Um, that either, you know, they're not having that. I can read people real easy, dude. And so when I know, when I know that I'm going to be some people, I know that I come off across maybe like you said, rub might rub off the wrong way because I'm so, you know, you know, um, the, like you said, how I am. And so so much yourself bro it's not a bad thing you are confident within yourself you represent everything you are i feel like this question is making you feel self-conscious but it shouldn't because this question should make you proud you live on you i don't even know you like that but but you you are proud of who you are and you put that out in the universe every day by walking out of your house that's something to be proud of these people that are feel uncomfortable because of it they're lesser. So speak on yeah. that proudly. Yeah, you know, it, I, oh, thanks, man. I do. Yeah, it, and, you know, when I try to, you know, I'll run into people, like you said, where I'm, I feel like, and I'll leave the conversation where I'm like, was I a little, <laughs> maybe I should have brought my, I should have came down, maybe I should brought their energy level back to where they are, you know, because I'm just so, and so, and then, um, I'll be like, man, that person either doesn't like me or, you know, or something. But then, like, in, dude, you know, I, dude, I just, I, it's a, that's a big, I can talk to, I can talk your ear off of that one, dude, non, for, because I've been through a lot of experiences where people will come up and they'll be like, who are you? Oh man, you're like a great dude, and you know, then they'll they'll be my friend, and they they see all this going on, then out of nowhere, man, you, they'll they just like you know, nah, I can't explain it, dude, just because it's just I don't talk about stuff like that, you know, I just yeah, dude, that's a deep question, dude. I can I can talk to you about that off the camera for sure, dude. I but yeah, I, got, I understand. I gotta, Say less, man. I totally get it. I totally get it, man. Uh, this this world is a very complicated, hard to navigate kind of place. But my point is, I am impressed with you. I envy you for being able to be as much of yourself as you are. We both got this undercut shit, bro. I live in Alabama. You think I could walk around in Alabama and people don't look at me like I'm fucking crazy? Like, <laughs> you know, I know, it is, dude. I, get it. I know. I, I get the looks, dude. I get it for sure man so with everything you're doing all of these hustles you're on and you're on so many hustles and you and you're and you're good at all of them you're really good at all of them what Thanks, is your dude. idea of success in life oh dude jeez i asked somebody that question too on my podcast dude and i don't know out of all the people i've asked that question dude this guy, I won't forget, 
and he I don't know why his answer stuck with me but the answer he gave me dude I to be honest when he told me the answer I was like dude come on you can have a better answer than that or I, I just I didn't I, I could say I didn't really like that answer he gave but the num but it's weird now that when I get asked that question, I I think of his answer, dude. I'm so intrigued. I'm so intrigued right now. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. And you know, and I, I said the same thing. I was like, bro. So, um, I was like, what's the biggest success you, you you're so happy or what you're proud of or you're proud? What's the biggest thing you're proud of? Success you're proud of? That's why I asked him. He said, success. Well, you know. Success only success is only what you think is success. So I was like, oh, well, I was like, well, bro, you got a bachelor's degree in this, you got that, you got this, man, you got a lot of stuff going on. You should be, be really like proud of your success with especially with a bachelor's degree, man. He's like, and he wasn't, dude. He was just like he was, but he was just like so to like he's like, but to you, that's success. And to him, it wasn't. And that just blew me away, man. And ever since, and that's the answer. I know, I know that, I know that's a, like, that, that's the answer he gave me, man. And, and that's, the, and I still remember it to this day. So what I learned from that was, what I learned from that was, er, um, what I think is success is not what he thinks is success is. And, and I, and I was just like blown away by that because if I had a bachelor's degree and I had a penthouse and a dope ass whip, I'd be like, man, success, you know, that, that I mean, I have, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy and success that I got a bachelor's degree. I had this and that, but dude, that didn't, like, that didn't matter to him. And so for me, success to me is, you know, knowing who you are um helping helping humans for me it's helping animals um being there for my family um being being there to serve others i'm out there on every month like besides this month, I'm, out, I'm out there every monday giving back uh, on in downtown denver dude i can shoot you that so if you want to come on monday oh wait you're not in denver fuck Dude, I thought you were in Denver, so you're in Alabama. Dude, we give back every Monday, and then every other Wednesday, we give back to the community as well for mental health on Wednesdays. And so, you know, that to me, dude, when we all come together and we share ideas, networking, um, that to me is success, dude. Um, when my nephew puts down the iPad or his phone and he wants to go outdoors and go fishing rather and rather than being indoors with his iPad or video games, you know, that like that to me is success. And I know that none of this has to do with the conversation, really, with what we're talking. Yes, it does. OK, cool. So what I'm trying to say is like what that answer he gave me back, it totally changed the way I, what I think success is, man, because Success can be, like I said, waking up in the morning, man. You know what I mean? Like, okay. So, so that, that conversation gave, changed your perspective on success isn't something that's to be accomplished with a life. Success is something that's to be accomplished every day. Yeah, every day, every second, dude. I, it, I get, it's, it's just deep, dude. It can get deep. That's that, that's my answer to success, dude. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful answer. But Thanks, you gotta man. Go back and tell me about this charity, this 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 community situation you're working with, man. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's just it's called every Monday. It's called giving back. Um, tons of people from we got there's free. They, we got barbers, uh, vendors, uh, food vendors. Um, we got yoga instructors. We got live musicians. We have. Um, we'll have people come paint, dude. It's so cool because it, you know, it's people that um that and they'll, they'll have food, free food, uh, for people that around the city that can just come, dude. And they have free clothes too. They'll have clothes, donation of clothes, clothes to give out. 
Dude, it's and it's what? it's right there. Yeah, and it's right on the capital of Denver, and they do it every Monday, dude. Every Monday, bro. That's and world changing shit right there. I know, I know, and I just found them, dude. I just uh, partnered with them, and I'm supposed to be at their next event next month. I was supposed to be there today, but I was just too booked, so I'll be there next Monday. And then triggered, we got one on every other Wednesday. It's called Triggered Wednesdays. And shout out to Natasha who runs the whole thing. And it's basically the same thing, but this one is more specifically towards mental health. Mm. Where on Mondays, it's more, you know, food. Anybody, you know what I mean? I, I, um, it's, for, it's basically the same thing for both of them, but uh, the Wednesday one is more towards mental health where Mondays is like, um, you know, everything kind of thing. And so, yeah, that's that too, dude. And just, that's, what i love to do man Th those are success to me getting those kind of do giving back giving back is probably one another huge thing of, of a success for me because um last year dude last year this is what opened my mind i drove from denver to la to do a show and guess where the show was the show was at uh man i can't even speak because i'm so excited um It'll come to me here in a second, dude. But uh, you're good. You're good. Breathe, breathe. It was, it was, good. Yeah, it's, dude, it was awesome. Um, oh, Skid Row. It was on Skid Row. So I performed. I went to Denver, all the way to LA, and I performed on Skid Row. Uh, it was so amazing, dude. And that's what changed my. I was like, okay, I need to bring this to Denver. This needs to happen in Denver. And um, and uh, and now I. A year later, I found a company that does it in Denver now, dude. So, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm just so happy. Bro, you are successful. And that, and the way that you answer that question is, is such a profound, profound answer because you are successful, but you know that in your future, you can be more successful. Correct. Success for you Correct. is not, that's not an ending point. This is success. And you want more of it and you want bigger success, but you're happy with what you've done so far. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Happy. And like right now, dude, we're doing this interview. Like this is super, I saw your dude. First of all, I, had, I forgot to give you my flowers due to you. Dude, when I saw you, when I started, first saw your, 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 your content, it was in the viral love train and um, I saw it. I'm like, okay, this kind of reminds me a little bit, kind of matrix kind of vibe. Uh, <laughs> the green and like, everything I see that for the colors, yeah, the colors and stuff. I'm a, and I'm a huge fan of Matrix, bro. So you caught me real fast. And then I started watching the interview and how you have it, like how you have it, how you guys, how you you have the two people, how you're up and he's in the bottom kind of thing. I, I thought that was, I was like, okay, that's sweet. And then, and then I went to your page and I saw how you do your, 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 you know, you go to your page and you see all your work. I thought that was pretty cool too. And so, uh, like, okay, I got to reach out to this guy. This guy is getting people on the show. This is what I'm all about. And you're dropping episodes left and right. That was another thing I saw, or you're dropping posts left and right. And I said, oh man, that this guy right here, he's dropping posts left and right. I like it. I like how raw. I like how raw it is, dude. I like how your podcast is just raw. And um, and I, that's why I reached out to you, dude. That's why I reached out. I was like, yo, I got to get the homeboy on the podcast. I want to get on his show. It just it just seems so perfect, dude. But it was the Matrix colors. It was the <laughs> that blew me away, dude. I appreciate that, man, for real. And then and then, OK, on that note, you know, like when I was going through your page, man, like, you know, a lot of your clips, a lot of your shorts have like the intro and you're just so exciting on the intro you're so exciting and excited hey you hey this is so and so she does this and this and this and this and this. and i'm like damn this this guy got the energy bro like i i just I, that's all i look for like i just look for people's energy and and i was so excited you hit me up and yeah i'm glad we got to do this for real oh dude i'm gonna do a sick intro for you but get this man yesterday i got the same the same comment from this guy named charles he's like I love your intros, but my favorite part is when you do your intros and I wait for the reaction of the guests. Cause sometimes, the, <laughs> cause sometimes the guests don't know what to do, and sometimes the guests are like, "Yeah," but yeah, dude, that that that's what that that shit's funny. That is that is funny. That is now I gotta now I gotta be prepared for my reaction. But yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, hey, uh, so 
<clears throat> if you could go back and tell your younger self anything, what would it be? Yeah, that's easy. Number one, stay close for this for me, telling myself if I met him right now, this is what I'd say. Um, dude, do your best in school. In sixth grade, fifth grade, um, that's when your life is going to change, man. Because in elementary school, all the teachers took care of you. You, Everybody babied you. But then when you get in middle school, man, that's when shit's going to change. Mm-hmm. Teachers are not going to care no more. You're going to start getting tests. You're going to start getting homework. And... Um, and you're gonna you're gonna fail at tests, and you're gonna you're gonna and you're gonna get your feelings hurt. And dude, fifth grade just kicked my ass, dude. It changed my whole life. I was feeling like I was like, what's a failed test? And so I would tell him, hey, dude, just I know school's gonna be hard, but please do your best, study, so you know when you get into middle school and high school, you don't have to copy. And then. So that when you go to college, you can stay focused if you want to, if you want to, kid. But you know, if you do those things you, and give thanks to Jesus God every day, listen to your parents. Jeez. Would you say you would have told that those things to your younger self because it would have taught you the discipline? that you needed to know at a younger stage in life so that you could focus on the things that you could know the things you wanted to focus on earlier than you did. Yeah, because I know those things when I, you know, if I just did those things, I know if I got out of high school, I could have been more focused in school. I would have probably gone to, because my, my two older brothers, they graduated college easily, dude. Mm. So, you know, I always looked up to them as, you know, role models and, you know, people that, I, you know, inspired me, my two older brothers and, Man, they look at they they're so smart. They make it look so easy, man. And uh, yeah, I just uh, I remember in then um, college, you know, college. I just was like, geez, I don't know any of this stuff, dude. I don't gonna even try, you know. I can't. I don't want to. But you know, I would tell my younger self that, and then as well, dude. You know, when you get in your, tr- I'd tell him this, dude. This is the big one. I'd tell him, bro. Outside of high, when you're done with school focus on what you want to accomplish focus man before even high school dude i wish somebody would have told me hey man you know you don't have to go to college you can actually get a job and get the things you want and work your way on up i wish somebody would have told me that dude but all i heard was you got to go to college got to go to college and then you get a great job and then yada 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 and um, that's all i heard man and um you know, I uh, I wish I was told, hey, you know what? You can actually do the thing you love. You can actually pursue what you love and go the other way where you work, get the things you need, and then build your own business and go do it yourself. And we they never taught us that in school, dude. I know that for a fact. They never taught us that in school. So I didn't know that till I was in like in the 30s, dude. Shout out to uh, Gary V, man. Gary, I got bought, I bought Gary V's book when uh, he first was start up. Um, like when Instagram first came out, um, Gary V. I, I remember bought his book and he was talking about all these social media platforms and that like just came out and I was like, this guy, this like I love his and I liked his I liked his post. I liked how he was taught like how he talks to people. I know a lot of people don't like him, but for me, no. I like. I want to be Gary V. When I grow up, I don't care what <laughs> anybody says. Gary V. Is my hero. I am part, and someone, someone, some bullshit person invited me to a telegram, a personal telegram of Gary V's where I get to talk to him and shit. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's gotta be bullshit. There's no way this is real. There's no way this is real. Cause he's telling me things that I can't find Gary V talking about anywhere. I'm not going to get too much into this, but I was mad excited. And I literally told him, I was like, Hey, I'm gonna let you know. I don't even believe this is real. I feel like I'm texting Santa Claus right now. Yeah. But if I find out this is not real, I'm going to be real angry because I'm busy. So I just stopped messaging him because I called him out and he, he's not happy with it. But uh, it, it, it was not then. It was later. I was like, hey, man, because he was promising me a video chat. And I was like, bro, can we just set up a, a quick little video chat? I just need some confirmation because he keeps asking me. Now he's giving me assignments. 
we'll get into this later. I don't want to waste too much time in the interview. It's it's a crazy thing, bro. I don't think it's real. I, I'm saying anybody uh-huh. watching this right now, I don't think this shit is real. Uh, uh, I can't wait till you show me. All right, all right. I'll tell you. I'll, okay, fuck. Like, I've been in it for like a month. And, you know, he'll be like, do you have any questions? You need advice. And I'm just making shit up at this point because I want to keep the conversation going, you know? And I'll, I'll ask him about, like, how can I grow my podcast? How can I do this? How, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he'll tell me these things. And I'm like, then he got to, you know, I think you should invest in Ethereum and this and that and all these cryptocurrencies and it, it bo- and I'm like red flag red flag yeah. red flag yep. you know and then and then I google Gary V Ethereum the last thing he talked was in 2021 and I was like all right this is bullshit this is bull-. and I was like will you send me a video or some some article where you're talking about Ethereum and 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 these ghosts to me since so lesson learned I had to take it I mean someone offered it to me out of kick myself an ass if i never took the chance it's, i took about a month with like i don't know a total 20 messages between us but dude i get it i almost got same thing this person was so good on the other side and there were always it was a, a like a like a uh, like a promo it was like this business where they um they write you an article they put you in this magazines and all this stuff and this guy almost got me good, dude. This guy was so good, dude. He almost got me, man. So I know exactly what you're talking about. These guys, they're all, they're really good, man. And luckily I reached out to my friend. I was like, yo, all right, it, it, I just asked all these questions. And this guy's like, no, dude, that guy's a fraud. Don't, don't yeah. mess with that. Yeah. I was like, Phew. But you gotta take the chance. But you, you know, like as soon as it starts to seem a little sketchy, you know, look into it. You know, like it's yeah. fine. I don't regret the time I spent because I didn't spend that much time. But I'm glad, you know, it, it is what it is, man. But yo, so everybody has, and I, I know I got them. Everybody got the stories that that everyone they know of has heard these stories probably twice because they heard them when you met them, and then they heard them when you met someone else and they were with you. Okay. What are those stories? Ooh. Or one Jeez. of those stories. Jeez. Oh, okay. Buy my pitch. Because I'm always saying my pitch when I'm always out. <laughs> Yo, so like, pitch for instance, uh, yeah, so yesterday I was at, let's see, I was at Pizza Hut. I picked up a pizza in the delivery line in the pickup window. We, I go up, the guy's like, hey, sweet hair, dude. I was like, thanks, man. He's like, and then he gives me the pizza. I'm like, yo, actually, you know what? Here's my business card. I'm a podcaster, musician, and I'm a photographer. Here it is, dude, check my workout. And he's like, he looks at the card and he's like, cook. So that's probably what, what every, you know, people, you know, I, I, I do that quite a bit, man. I, it, people will, uh, I'll have my card on me and dude, I'll, I'll talk to anybody, dude, anybody, anybody. I'll talk to anybody, bro. And, um, you know, I'll be like, you know, how's your day? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so for instance, if I just met you right now, character, I'll be like, so if I met you for the first time, character, how's it going, man? You'd be like, good, good. I'll be like, that's what's up, man. Yo, my name's Ariel. Um, I'm a podcaster musician. Here's my card. So that's what I do. And th- like if we were networking, so if we're at a networking event, that's what I'd come up to you. Hey, character, what's up, dude? You'd be like, not much. So I'm like, that's what's up, dude. So what do you do? And you'd be like, yo, I'm a podcaster. I'm like, dude, me too. We got to collab. And you'd be like, yeah. I'm like, all right, here's my card. I'm a podcaster musician. I'll send you a DM and we'll get it scheduled. And you'd be like, dude, let's do it. And I'll be like, all right, peace out. It'd be that quick, bro. That's what's up, man. That That's a flex. And I can't wait for that. Honestly, I've only been doing this for like three months. And I got yeah. my first chance. Someone asked me, uh, one of the uh, guy was delivering water to the house the other day. And he was like, so what do you do? And I was like, I host an interview series online. And it was the hey, first yo. time I got to say that, man. And that, that yeah. felt good as fuck, bro. Like that, Dude, that, that, that felt that, good. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, I know. At the fir- when you first, when you first, first start doing it, it's a little weird. Yeah. But now, but now I'm, but now it's just second nature, dude. When someone asks you, uh, like when I'm at anywhere, man, I just I don't. I mean, I'm a podcaster, musician. Here's my card. I have so many cards, man. I give them my card, and it, dude, it actually it brightens people's day. It's so weird. They'll look at it and they'll be like, whoa, because it's super cool card. You got your card on you. I want to see it. I want to see this card, bro. 
I know I'm looking for it right now and I don't think I got all right, one. All right, all right, just send, yeah. send me like, okay, okay, you got it, you got it. Dude, <laughs> I do have a card. Check it out. Check it out, man. So, yes, this weekend I was at a festival doing a music and yeah, here's my card, dude. Damn, that's a solid card. That is a solid card, bro. So you I get, gotta yeah. get that picture updated because you changed your hair. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Hell yeah, and man! That, and that car stands out in a stack of cards for real. The the, yeah. the curved right. and so I'd walk yeah. around with. Uh, yeah, so I'd be like, "Hey, what's up, character? How's it going? Good, good. Oh, cool, man. Here's my card. I'm a business That's podcaster. Cool, man, That's fucking awesome, bro. <laughs> and I do it such tomorrow. Like- I'm getting cards tomorrow. I don't care. <laughs> there you. Yeah. Oh, dude. Make sure you get the. Make sure you get the QR link on it. Make sure you get the QR link because that because they'll be like, do you do you have Venmo already? Because I go play music, and in my music and um, when I go perform, I have like this little thing that says Venmo for tips or anything. People will come up to me, and be like, hey, what's your Venmo? I'll be like, oh, here, here's my card. Just scan your, just scan here. And, and it's right there. Through. Yep. It's right there, bro. And that's that's awesome. Like I got a little popple band. That people can, can can scan with their their little uh, you know like just put their phone up to it and gets my link tree up to them or whatever. But uh, uh, honestly, like that that's that's more solid because I did that when I was shooting videos and and now I'm not shooting video. Like I had to have that because I'm literally like I got my camera in one hand. I'm like, here you go, yeah, you just scam my shit. I'm good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, no, that that's that's cool, bro. That's for real. Dude, I gotta be honest, dude. I gotta be honest. When I don't have my business card. I don't feel complete I feel because like- I'm, I'm like I have my social media thing like you know you can scan my social media thing and that's cool too but dude I don't know what it is like, I do I do I tell you I'm telling you dude I go networking almost every day and um, dude I, if I don't like I order new business cards maybe last month and I was out with cards for maybe a week dude oh man and that just drove me crazy because i couldn't network it was so weird without networking without a car you, man i feel you you just used to it man you just used to it yeah it's, yeah, it's second nature now dude is there yeah, anything man. is there anything about your background that i didn't think to ask and if there's not i'd really like to hear about this badass pyramid ring that's on your finger right now man yeah i got the pyramid ring i have more dude i have more rings i wish i came more prepared dude <laughs> this day dude I, I swear these days it's just it should they're just booked and they just fly by man good problem and i don't have time to go to my car and grab my rings or my neck like anything it's just dude it's just now like this dude and it wasn't like that it was it's just dude, it's just it's, I, 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 yeah, dude. Thank oh, you for good. thank you for noticing the ring, bro. You the man. I, to be honest, dude, I can't even see. I, I, this whole time, I've been just just staring at the cam, the because my phone's facing the other way, so I I, can, I don't even see the screen. So I, I don't even see your face react. <laughs> <laughs> all good bro all good for real man yo but that that is a badass ring man do you have anything coming up that you want to talk about oh let's do it right now yes yes thank you so much character hey can you tell me what time it is real quick for me it's 10 right. for you it's 11 hold on hold on no nine o'clock here i think it's because we're an hour behind you okay right you're central yeah you're central so Yes, that's accurate. Okay, I had it backward. No, yeah, yeah. So you're 10 there, so it's nine here. Thank you. Thank you. Because I have a, uh, okay, so I have a Zoom call. I know. See what I'm telling you? I have a Zoom call at 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Okay. Mountain Time, okay. which is 9 p.m. California time. Um, because I have a show this Thursday, August 10th in California, uh, Sunset Boulevard, Grammy Weekend. People are gonna peek in. It's gonna be super awesome, dude. What? I got a show. Yeah, dude. August tenth, I got a show on Sunset Boulevard. Uh, September, September twenty third, I have a show opening for uh, headliner Telly here in Denver. And then September thirtieth, I'm a headliner at a uh, Parker. Uh, it's a Parker Festival beer festival. And the reason I say I'm headliner is because this person came up to me is like, hey, do you want to perform at this Parker Festival? And I said, of course. And they're like, okay, well, you're the you're the, you're the performer. I need you for three hours. And I said, what? Three hours? <laughs> and I, 
I'm like, uh, okay, cool. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, okay, I gotta get like openers for me. So I'm, I'm looking for, I, I'm trying to uh, look for a couple openers and then I'll play like one hour set at least. But dang, dude, I got a three, I gotta fill a three hour time window of music on September 30th, Parker, Colorado, Beer Fest Festival. Oh man, it's gonna be packed house, dude. It's gonna, I don't even wanna tell you the amount of people that were there last year, dude. Hell yeah. I do not, 5K. Woo! Okay. Okay, bro. That's, man. Hey, congratulations, for real. Congratulations, and I understand the stress you're under. It's, it, it's, okay, so you'll, you'll appreciate the congratulations when you've accomplished it, when you're done, when you killed that shit, because you're gonna kill that shit. And trust, yeah. hit me up later. I will connect you with a bunch of artists in the Colorado area that, that you can hit up and, and I, I've, you know, uh, hit me up. I, I'm connected with all sorts of people, but we'll talk later. Oh, um, dude, I love that. Thanks, character. No worries at all, man. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Trust, we'll make it work. Hey, but, man, I didn't know. Have you been to Denver? No, not at all, but I am connected with artists all around the world. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I, dude, that's super cool, bro. And yeah dude that those are the next shows my next thing to do is try to get a gig for october and december to finish strong but yeah dude i'm just at least get one gig october one gig because you know at the last end month november you know november and december dude those those months are pretty slow oh, because sure. they're traveling family and holidays and um vacations and plus you in yeah. colorado bro the snow is gonna be a pain in the ass in november and in december bro <laughs> correct yes and it's cold below freezing so yeah it's a b dude it's a b so i gotta finish i'm gonna finish strong dude facts man no no i have no doubt in that man it, it is there any last sentiment that you want to communicate in this interview something that you just want to leave the viewers with before we end it oh man can you give the people the name of your podcast, please? Character so Asked It. This is Character Asked It. And that's what I'm talking about. Guys, character in the building, Character Asked It. Guys, this is what it's all about because uh, these questions, I've been, in, I've been in a few podcasts, but these questions right here almost got me into, uh, got me into my feelings. And uh, this is good for me because it makes me, it, it, it helps me speak about things that, you know, mm. that I had inside that i haven't talked about in a long time and and that's good to talk about things like that because they need to be released and that's how i feel so dude character man just keep it up with the question dude you killed it with the core you crushed it with the questions dude the questions were amazing the way you speak the way you just your encouraging words to me you know you like in the podcast and just, you know what you know my favorite question bro that you said in this podcast dude was this was my favorite question when you said you know with with your authenticity and you just loving life and you know being a man of god and trying to do your best i know that it can rub off on people the wrong way or whatever you said dude and that dude that question right there that one it was a home run so do whatever you're doing with questions just dude you 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 you're 100 percent on that and uh and you're the way you're, you let me speak and you know like for me uh when i get guests on my show i'll sometimes interrupt because i get so excited what the guest is saying but you dude you let me speak and you let me talk you hear me out you're listening and I'm just I'm just super grateful for for this opportunity on your podcast. And and getting to know you much better and and character yeah dude you just character you just um just grateful dude I'm truly grateful and I can't wait till we get you on my show and I can't wait till we meet in person. If you ever come to Colorado, I'll have some salsa for you. I'll have some merch for you. I'll, I'll have some pens for you. <laughs> and um, I had stickers, but I sold out of stickers. But I'm almost sold out of the original merch, too. This merch is almost sold out, too. But, uh, yeah, dude, 
I, I got you, dude. If you ever come to Denver, I got you, dude. That's right. that's a fact. I so much appreciate those words. Like I, I got a little, I got a little emotional when you're saying those things. Like it, it just, I don't know. I do everything I'm doing because I think people have messages to communicate they don't even know they have, and and I think that's part of what you did. And I appreciate your time and your vulnerability and your honesty so much, man. And I appreciate those words for real. I can't wait to hop on your podcast. I appreciate your time, man. Uh, thank you. Thank you for real. Yeah. Oh, thank you, dude. Flowers to you. And I wish you and your podcast and your family and your loved ones, dude, the most success ever. Tons of success towards your way, bro. Uh, nothing but positive vibes and love and peace towards you and your family and your podcast, dude. Uh, I'm your homie for life. You're my best friend, dude. That's just how it is with me, dude. We rock like this if we're collaborating and we're working like this dude you're my homie for life so uh shout out to ariel's entertainment podcast arielent.com check out the music the podcast uh book me for photography check out my salsa arielent.com i just made a new batch last weekend for the music festival i sold about eight and the week before that i sold four at another festival so yeah it's just been really good guys so arielent.com ariel's entertainment podcast available on all podcast platforms audio platforms social media platforms hit me up on the dms um if you guys have any questions uh if you guys want to be on the show anything like that guys it truly means the world to me you guys watching this listening to this telling your friends and family and that's all i have and praise god that's all i got yo character let me know what's up let me know how i can promote this or put it out there to the world and um if you ever need anything let me know i got you all right, much love, man. This has been an incredible episode of Character Acid with Ariel. Hit him up, follow him up, message him up, do your thing, man. Hello. He's an incredible person. I'll see y'all next time. Peace up. I like your boy. Woo! <laughs> Ow.